Yes, at last. At... With them, you can summon forth a rift of considerable power. This rift, born of the Wakestone's power. I fear there will be no returning to this place. End this, Arisen. May the world... Well met, Arisen. I'll not waste time on rhetoric. Defeat me, and take my place as Keeper of this world. You saw it awaiting you at the end of your descent. Aye, the same world you've traveled to arrive at this place. A world you may well now inherit. It is a simple proposition. No different than any you faced. You need only the will to claim what is offered you. The will to survive. Yes, fight Arisen, as you ever have fought in coming here. What is it that impels you? What force spurs you on? What sustained your wanderings and led you here? I ask you, what is it that makes you alive? His volition, unbending will. You are here because you willed it, Arisen. That alone has brought you here. Just as you call forth pawns, so I command all life into existence. Call it divine creation if you must, but expect none of the mercy men seek in their gods. This is cold truth, the unbending reality of a world without compassion. The world and all its denizens are but empty vessels. In that regard, no different than the pawns. Without volition, there is no true life. The world falls stagnant, dead as an ocean with no current to guide it. That volition is tempered by the struggle for survival. The decision, just like yours, to fight. Just as the pawns need a master's command, so the world thirsts for the will to live. Continue, Arisen. Show that you are more than an empty vessel, animated by forces unseen. Show that the temper of your soul is strong enough to command far more than mere pawns. Show that your will is fit to bind the fraying circle of this world and hold it fast. Fight tooth and claw. Struggle now and cling to life. Show that living holds worth enough to fight for! It is time to decide. Will you claim your right as a risen? 
or shrug the burden and seek peace in oblivion. Just so, one foot after the next, come what may. That is what it means to live. Turn back now and I will grant you a merciful death. The choice is yours arisen. Yours alone. Tis a simple choice arisen. Step forward or retreat. Accept the quiet emptiness of a false peace, a false life. Put an end to it. Praises of the quiet life are sung far to it. <laughs> That's a mighty harsh eye. Ever the noble one, you. You're not without a heart. Why? What is it drives you so? Why is this hesitation, sir? I would beg you rest of your heart. Instead, I ask only that you keep us. Goodbye. I was always so afraid. You seemed to have to leave for sex. All I asked was to be at the side of those I love. I shall meet you on your own terms, joined by my own companions of old. You stand now at its end, Arisen. See your journey through. My will that urges time onward through eternity. the temper of our will. While he prepares his massive attack, he is <laughs> What is he <laughs> He must be cautious. <laughs>
together, we can deal the final blow. Arisen, forgive me. All I've done was to test your will. It is the fate of all Arisen. You and I swept up in the current, same as the rest. Each tempers the volition of the next, and the endless cycle continues. And so, until the coming of a new soul fit to craft the will to live, someone like you. Until that day, may you guide the world ever justly. present you with the God's Bane Blade. Those who arise to oversee this world are undying, save by this brand's kiss. I ask that you, as the world's new seneschal, use it now to vouchsafe freedom to your weary servant. Rifts are but gateways linking distant places, slivers of a world far. New crown sovereign. The fire of my life is spent in guttering. If there is aught you wish to know for my death, my knowledge as my the seneschal is steward to the world. The world you traveled now rests in your care. Just as the arisen calls Pon into being and sets them to motion, the seneschal, there are those who would call such a being maker. I cannot deny the claim any more than affirm it. In the end, they are but words. Call it what you will. Such is the office I have served, just as those before me and you beyond unto eternity. This place is familiar. New crown. If there is all my knowledge, the pawns exist astride the rift. They speak of a multitude, limitless in span and lost to time. Just as a ring lacks start and end, so this, if it does, we are prisoners of unpassing time. Wandering on an ending land. What lies beyond? New crown. If there is my knowledge, there is life in the world and with it death.
But such is a death akin to that. They appear in this world and vanish only to appear. As so it is with all that. In time, you will come to see it happen under your watch. Each beast, each blade of grass, each hue, not lasts forever. You, if there is all my knowledge, as my will, is that which led you to this place. Along the endless string of life and death, there are some born. They yearn for some other. They are the Arisen. And so the dragon is sent into the world to guide the Arisen and refine them. And so, this new, if there is all my knowledge, as, as you wish, and turn it shall, and ere the day your soul, the newly arisen, will walk them. Until that day, I am defeated. And in defeat, pray, vouchsafe free. New crowns, if there is aught you wish to. <coughs> Mourn me not, for I welcome the release. At long last, I am free of eternity, of infinity, free of the cruel, unending ring. I'd given up hope of seeing you again, in any form. It's clear that forces beyond my ken are at work here. But I'll ask no questions. Not today. <laughs> <laughs> 